Welcome to our accessibility video for Water Sports Inclusion Games. This will give you an overview of what to expect at the event locations. Each day you will park at the Kinsale Rugby Club car park where we will have minibuses to drop you the seven minute journey to the Yacht Club for morning registration between 9 and 9.45 and a welcome briefing from 10am. Most of the activities run from the Slip and Marina area beside the Yacht Club with paddle sports a five minute minibus ride away at Castle Park Beach. For those who are signed up for surfing, that's at Garrettstown Beach, a 15 minute minibus journey away. Garrettstown Beach is not included in this video. So here we are approaching Kinsale from on the Cork Road and just about a kilometre outside Kinsale there's this junction here, you can see the Kinsale sign there. And we're coming down to the junction and the signposts here and there's a signpost which indicates Charles Fort and we're going to go left here and just a little bit up this road we'll find the rugby club car park where the park and ride is for the event and it's going to be on our left a little bit up here so just off the main road and from that point, the minibuses can pick you up and bring you down to the Yacht Club for the start of our event. And here we come to the Rugby Club, which is on our left here. So we're going to go in the far gate of the Rugby Club. This gate here. And you can see the wide parking area. We'll park up here okay, and show you around. So just panning around the car park here at the Rugby Club. We'll have some designated accessible parking spots and this car park is over two levels. There's a lower level at the far end here and here's the lower level of the Rugby Club car park. So lots of space. Arriving down the waterfront to Kinsale Yacht Club, and you can see Customs Pier there with the Harbour Masters building in front of us. The waterfront, the marina, and the Yacht Club is opposite the water on the right hand side here. And when you arrive, come into the Yacht Club at the gate I'm about to go into now where the sign is, Kinsale Yacht Club and when you come in we just hopefully everybody can arrive just before 9.45 to be here for the 10 start and we're here in the dinghy park of Kinsale Yacht Club now this will be looking a lot different you'll have the large marquee over here and then on the left hand side here we'll have some gazebo set up for registration and it would be great for everyone to get registered promptly when you arrive and we'll have some seating out here as well. I'll try and put a picture in of what this will be looking like. When you approach the club, you can see that there's some steps, but there's also a ramp to the ground floor. And then inside there's a lift to the first floor. So I'll take you inside now so we can have a look at some of the facilities inside the Yacht Club. So we'll take you up the ramp. Okay, so we're just arriving up to the main entrance door. And we'll find the facilities inside. Oh, it's a nice wide entrance door. Inside on your left is the access to the gents' toilets and changing. And the marina office or the Yacht Club office. 
Okay, and here is the ladies' changing room. And down the corridor here, we have our lift. So nice wide corridor and our lift. Okay, and then just walking back up the corridor. I'll take you further on where there's the far access to the ladies and gents, which has is where the toilets are. Okay, so so we have the far entrance to the ladies. All on a level and inside we have the ladies toilet entrance for cubicles. We have a accessible ladies toilet and straight ahead we have the ladies changing room. So I'm just going to go into the changing room and show you what it's like on a busy day. There's lots of bags in here at the moment. Hopefully it won't be quite as untidy. So we have the changing room and we have showers in there, shower cubicles uh, on a level in the ladies changing. And coming back into the corridor, I'll take you now into the accessible shower room. So we have accessible shower, which would be your standard accessible shower, your standard accessible toilet configuration. And I'll try and get this in. I might, there's not great scope on this camera, but trying to fit all of that in just to give you an idea of what we have on site. So I'm back out outside the ladies and I'm now panning across the corridor we came in to where the gents is. So the gents is essentially the same configuration opposite on the opposite side of the corridor and again inside there there is an accessible gents toilet, uh, gents uh, general toilet facilities and changing facilities, also similar layout to the ladies. Just arriving up in our lift at our upper level. Just to show you the lift, it's a, as far as I know, a standard eight person lift. and we'll have a look at the upper level facilities. First floor level, this is the, uh, the bar and lounge area and the balcony of the club. We'll just have a look into the bar area of the club. So this is the welcoming bar area of the yacht club where we'll have some relaxation space and you can order your tea, coffee, beverages from the bar during the event and this will be a lovely space for participants to be able to mingle particularly if the weather isn't so kind to us but we also with finer weather will be able to enjoy the terrific balcony outside so I'll take you out to the balcony so the balcony will have Lots of seating out here for the event, hopefully with great weather. Let's pan around the balcony. And we have our evening barbecue. It will be set up in this area here. And we can enjoy eating both on the balcony, but also looking back down at our dinghy park, we'll have some tables and chairs below there at the marquee as well to enjoy our celebration and lovely view out across the water also. So our marquee will be host to our DJ, Jerry, who will be giving us a, a wonderful performance and we'll have a bit of partying, hopefully a bit of dancing going on and uh, a lively celebration in the evening on Saturday for our Saturday party.
Okay, so we're back across the road from the Yacht Club at the Harbour Masters building and I'm just taking you to the slipway which is going to be host, oh nearly fell, host to our accessible wheelie boat so lovely wide sloping slipway and we expect to have our wheelie boat berthed here to allow wheelchairs direct access it has a drop down bow which is a, and it'll be brand new to Kinsale so we're very excited to have the accessible wheelie boat and it, it'll be moored here when your activity facilitators are receiving you they'll be looking after your safety and making sure in advance up at the dinghy park you have your buoyancy aids and taking you out to your activities so those who will be going sailing will be heading down the road there the roads up there down to the marina which you can see ahead of me and the marina um, access ramp and I'll take you to that in a few moments and you'll be accessing the boats from the marina and they'll be right in front of me here all the keel boats will be berthed so they'll be our squibs our hanses our hawk our sonars all the keel boats 1720s and your facilitators will help you get get going also from the marina the yachts will be leaving as well so various club yachts will be berthed at different berths all around the marina and you'll be assigned your your boat in advance and you'll be taken by the ushers down to your activity and your uh, facilitators and skippers will look after you at your activities. Just pan around to show you the lovely view from here. Okay, and we'll have a look back up the slipway. Okay, so we're walking back down the road now to the marina. Just to give a flavour of access. So this road will be closed here this section of road so we'll have easy access down to the marina It'll be nice and comfortable for us our minibuses will be toing and froing like this bus here but that's about it all other traffic will be diverted around the back of these buildings So as we arrive down here to the marina, we'll have hopefully our inclusion games flags flying bright. So here we are at the marina access and this is a secure gate. So we'll have this tended to and open for you on your arrival. A bit more of a view of the access, panning around to the marina. Here we are beyond the security gate and we have our access bridge if you like which will lead us to the ramp which accommodates the tide so we have um, quite a tidal difference here in Kinsale between high and low tide and particularly during our event so at times this ramp will be shallow and at times it will be more steep I think around lunchtime at the event it will be a bit, little bit more steep but we'll have lots of people on site assisting everyone with their needs and as we come down here the keel boats will be on the berths on my right There's, there we are looking back at the slipway and then the yachts will be around the marina in different locations just panning up back to our ramp there you can see that the pontoon areas are all quite accessible and you'll be accompanied by your facilitators and ushers in these areas and it's easy to travel down the pontoons and then towards the end of this pontoon we'll have our power boating so we'll just take a little walk down to the end of the pontoon. So 
So we're just coming up to the end of the pontoon and then this will be this outside location will be the location of our powerboat experience. All of our powerboats will be moored in this area. There's some visiting yachts there at the moment. And from here we've got a nice view out to our sailing area. You can see the, uh, the wide area of water there. It can be quite tidal here. So facilitators and skippers will be bringing you out to the outer harbour which is beyond the bend there. And we've got some lovely more open water out there. From the marina area, we will run yacht and keelboat sailing. We will also run powerboating and some rowing. Our specialist activities from here will comprise Hansa dinghy, 2.4 keelboat and water skiing. We are arriving at Castle, close to Castle Park Beach and this is the opposite side of Kinsale so this is a different marina to the Yacht Club Marina which we are at and so when you arrive here your uh, minibuses will be dropping you off and there's a short way down to the beach. This is the field area behind Castle Park Beach where the minibuses will be dropping off and we'll also have um, an accessible port in this area. Easy some uh, water sports equipment already here on our left. You'll be dropped off. Hopefully in this area here. And there will be some surfacing laid down to allow more easy access along here. Hopefully some beach wheelchairs also. So I'll take you around here and this is the main path which was bypassed because we came in through the field so main pathway extends back this way so a little bit of a slope there up and down and quite sandy as well the access way down to the beach so obviously lots of sand around and Part of the beach will be segregated out so that we can comfortably run the event and our activities uh, in an area where everyone can have lots of space while respecting um, public right of access and public use of the beach also. Just coming down to the water's edge here at the beach just to show you the wonderful, wonderful view in Castle Park Beach. Lots of activity here today, you can hear in the background. And here we'll have our paddle boarding, we'll have kayaking, we'll have canoeing. For all abilities facilitated. And rescue cover on the water at all times as well. The paddle sports at Castle Park Beach will comprise of sit on top kayaks for one or two people. There'll be canoeing options also. Along with that, there's paddle boards for one or two people and family boards for multiple paddlers. I hope you enjoyed our video. Our programme, activities information, together with a list of what to bring, are downloadable items from the webpage at www.sailing.ie forward slash water sports inclusion games. We're looking forward to celebrating with you.